Good morning. Hmm. Trying to get set up here still this morning. Was going to do some filming outdoors here in the beautiful Thermopolis, Wyoming, but we're hanging out inside today. It's a little cold and windy out there. All right. Well, welcome to Wisdom Circle Wednesday. Uh, happy May 1st of 2024. And yeah, thank you for allowing me a moment here to get myself together. I've been running around out in the park for an hour trying to find a good place to set up to do a video. So we're going to do some ads here today too um, for an upcoming event. But anyway, um, you are welcome to drop your questions here in the questions tab, uh, as well as here on the chat. Um, yeah, so really curious about your guys's feedback and experience with the Wisdom Circle Wednesdays. Um, you know, it's not quite how I imagined when I created this space for this. Um, Basically, you know, we might just have this as our last Wisdom Circle Wednesday and edit this and just create the uh, video that has the meditation and the space because really that's what this is about is, it is you know, I've told you the story about how I've seen my sister Brenda and when she's working with clients recently, she just stands and embodies her light. And that's what I want this space to really be is a space that you can come to and we don't have to do it live every other week that we can just create this space once and it's, it grows and expands with us. Um, but basically, you know, the whole concept is you embodying your light and that's where everything comes to you. That's where the magic and the miracles take place. Like I see when I see Brenda working with a client, she embodies herself. She invites her client in, they embody themselves. And then you just watch their light coming through and it changes everything for them. I mean, the healings take place, the clearings, the release, whatever is in alignment with that moment. Um, and, and in a higher, newer way, because when you're allowing your light in and see, that's it is that we can come in and we can still do some pretty marvelous, magnificent, magical things by just coming in and using our, our own mind. Well, perspective, the human perspective and using visualization, imagination and intention while in the heart space. And we can do some pretty magical things in creation clearing, healing, putting bones back into place, releasing lifetimes, whatever it is, you can do that work by going into the heart space, visualization, imagination, intention. So you simply witness the work being done. If something doesn't take, what we've always done is we've experimented with new ways to bring our light into things um, until we figure out a way that actually works. But really that was very limiting because this is still from the human perspective with the intended outcomes, which may not be in the highest potentials for us. They, they usually, you know, my experience is, is that the human is full of wants, needs, desires, um, and setting up the whole experiences for whatever they're, um, feeling that they karmically need to do. Um, so, I mean, there's so much that is projected through the human when we step in to do this work and the soul, that part of you that in that part of you, that is the master, the culmination of the lifetimes of wisdom and the soul, this part of you, this new light of you knows so much more about the human and the human experience, because this part of your light has been a human probably a thousand times. And so it is full of the wisdom and the understanding and the perspective of the human. 
And so really when we are in this space and we are inviting in our light, this is the light that I'm really intending that we begin to work with is this master you, this you that is the culmination again of the wisdom of lifetimes and your soul. And so the point of this is, is that when you can invite in this part of you and allow this to come in and it knows, you know, because if you're doing this to work on some healing, clearing, release, manifestation, uh, answering questions, whatever it is, when you step into that space of allowing in and inviting in you, it already knows what your intention is. So you don't need to put it into specific words and, oh, I got to be so specific about my words. You don't need any words. Because again, your soul, the master you, knows what your intentions are more so than what you do. And it has a higher perspective of creating outcomes in higher potentials. So that really truly is why I want to do this Wisdom Circle Wednesday, do this for not only you guys, but for myself to create this space where we can just go and slip into this space to where we can have everybody here in this space that is embodying. And this is a master's table. It's not the human stuff and everything else that we're bringing to this table. We are bringing our wisdom and our light to this space to where we can easily more, more easily stand in our own light. That is truly the purpose of the Wisdom Circle Wednesday is a space to allow us to stand more in our light. So enough words. We're going to go ahead and start doing some things. Oh yeah, Stephanie, that's uh, our 12 inch Gaia sphere that's hanging out there. And hey, John from Minnesota. Hey, Alan from France. Glad you're here. And Connie from Maine. Um, and jump over here and do some questions. Can we create a telegram group wisdom circle? You know, I don't know. I've, I've not, mm, I'm not too telegrammy. We sure could though. Um, that's definitely a potential possibility because, um, I do have some new people that are coming on board with twisted sage, um, just to lend a helping hand with things, uh, restructuring websites and social media. And so we just might do something with telegram. Um, are you using the grounding shoe rings right now? Oh yeah. I always have the grounding rings in my shoes anymore. Um, I usually stay pretty well grounded, but these, they're more than grounding. They are grounding, connecting, grounding the mind, which is a huge thing. Um, you know, maybe that's what we'll do in our meditation here today too, is we'll do that grounding of the mind, um, and grounding of the heart. And, um, so yeah, anyway, I, I hope that you all kind of could see how I've been envisioning this wisdom circle as just a space for us to hold space for ourselves and each other to more fully step in. And what do we do when we step in? absolutely nothing you know and that truly is this new paradigm you know like god i love the creation field coil this is something i've even been sleeping with this thing and i never sleep with jewelry um but it's it's just it's just another tool it's just a space um like the wisdom circle wednesdays is the space and it is a space to to help you slipstream more into that coherency with soul with you. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the meditation here, you guys. And, um, and again, the reason we do this is to help you embody your light. And the more you do this and the more you can just set in peace in that space set with you, um, the easier this gets. 
And the more that you are just simply holding that space and allowing in your light, you don't do a thing you allow in your light. And again, it's a paradigm shift because your light is the one that is going to do all of the things that you are knowingly intending to clear, heal, manifest, answer the questions. Because when you are in the space, and this is the thing, you guys, this is part of that whole new paradigm is that when you are in that space, that you don't even have to come up with questions because the answers are already there. Um, you don't have to seek or go find because everything is right there in the moment when you need it, not a moment sooner. And so it's a lot of surrender of trust of you and you being the master and you knowing as you as the human here as the experiencer of this creation, knowing that you as this master creator are creating things in the highest potentials for you. But for you, it's just, you know, gosh, I had this kind of epiphany about things that's, you know, just one step of things. But um, a couple a couple of weeks ago, while I was in Santa Cruz, California at the convention that we were there, um, I just really kept seeing myself as whole and complete with the soul, the master me, the human in all that I am. But yet I would see myself as this experiencer part. And then me as the master, as the one who is bringing creation in, and I simply experience it. And I noted that as the experiencer, I'm always trying to influence the creation in the way that I see and feel it should be. And so, yeah, I tell you what, it is a tough shift to not want to try and do and manifest and create. Um, people have asked me for the past like two years, why aren't you like actively trying to manifest these certain things? And I'm just not guided to step into that because I truly feel that this stepping into this allowing and you simply be in this grand experiencer of everything in creation that is yours. Um, that that is going to be more magical than us simply saying bread and wine. And here it is. Um, you know, I feel like we're really stepping into some very masterful things. So anyway, I'll quit chatting you guys. Um, and we will, um, I think we'll do this meditation for grounding the mind with the earth. Um, we've put this meditation out a few times, but we'll do this meditation here because I feel grounding the mind with the earth is a huge thing. That's why I love the, um, grounding ring shoe inserts is because that is one of the energetics. Um, but here we go. So putting your attention to the physical heart where you find your light your soul's fire. Taking that breath from the earth, connecting deeply heart to heart with the earth as you breathe in that light, that supporting energy of the earth up through the feet into the heart. And just allowing that energy to permeate your entire being, fully connecting and grounding every cell of you with the earth. Next, connecting with you as creator God, as a soul, breathing in that light of you into the heart. In this third breath is where you take that breath from creation, the breath from earth. You bring them both together through you. So you are the conduit, the bridge between heaven and earth, grounded and connected. Now let's imagine an infinity that runs from our heart to the heart of the earth. Just that figure eight, that infinity flow. Now imagine infinity between the earth and the mind, your mind. Just that infinity that flows to the heart of the earth, to the mind. 
allowing that grounding of even the physical brain and all the electrical synapses, as well as everything else that the mind is, etheric, slightly outside of your physical body. Beautiful. And just feel that peace when you have ground the mind to the earth. And you can create an infinity if you wish to connect your heart to the heart of creation. But the thing is, is we never really have to go out and seek our light because it is always here. And our light is everything. It is always present. But we simply bring our awareness to your light, to your soul. Look out and see your soul. Imagine it. Perhaps as just a brilliant light or a golden light body or a sphere. or nothing at all, but it is your energy, your light, all of your potentials. Seeing your soul, imagining your soul. Now imagine that you are your soul and you're looking back at you. Imagine you seeing your soul and imagine your soul seeing you. You are one in the same. Now simply invite in that light of you to step fully within the physical body, within the heart, your light within all the cells of your body. And again, you're still grounded with the earth and your light just comes in and fills all the spaces and places within your being, within your reality, your light goes into your interactions with people and the people themselves. When you can stand and allow your light to be present with you, you be present with your light. It changes how you see and interact with people. It brings more light to those interactions and it brings more light into your entire world. So those are great reasons to embody your light. And again, embodying your light is not a trying, it is allowing. Being in the heart, being soft, opening up and allowing in your light. Beautiful. Now just hold that space, not even hold the space, just be in the space. Perhaps you feel the tingles in the body, that is your light. And perhaps some of you wish to direct it to aches and pains and hurts and traumas and whatever else. But you don't really direct your light, this light of you, because it has conscious and awareness. It is your awareness, your consciousness. So you, it's okay to allow things to float through your mind like, oh, I w would love to heal or release or clear or manifest. 
but don't hold on to it. If something flows through your mind, let it go instantly. Because again, you are simply the embodier of your light in this moment to allow it to repattern all of your creation as you are creator. So within this space, start imagining Imagine such things as you have more imagination. Imagine such things as you don't have to work at things, that you simply step into life and allow everything to come to you. Imagine that you are just brilliance itself that you hold your light and allowing your light to just radiate from you which it does naturally and that when you look at hmm, the human perceived atrocities in the world or the dark things that are surfacing that have always been there that you continue to stand in your light and smile at those things. A beautiful exercise, if you wish to do some things with radiating your light by simply being in the space and sending your attention, awareness, your love, your smile to these things that pop up with inside of you, the self-limiting talk and doubts, the old reoccurring thought patterns, the worries, that you simply be in your light and you see these things, the wounded inner child, the ego, whatever it is, and you stand present and in the light. You open up your arms and you look at whatever it is, no matter how dark and dense and whatever, because you are the light, you are creator, and you are safe, sacred space for these energies. So you open your arms and you invite them to you instead of stepping into their woes and struggles and strifes, you invite them to you. And as you stand with your smile, your love, your forgiveness, your understanding, your gratitude, as you look at these things, and some of them can be really dark, but as you bring your love, your light, your awareness, your forgiveness, your compassion, these things shift. This is truly you stepping into creation. By first smoothing out and harmonizing those things within you. Perhaps you have emotional reactions to things as you're out in the world, as you're working with other people. Consider those as the emotional reactions, also as something that is within you. It's like a tuning fork. Those outside of us carry a certain resonance of field. And if that causes something within us to have a reaction, 
we have a resonance with that energy. So we don't need to fix or heal them. We need to go to ourself first. See that within. Be in your light. And truly invite in that part of you that carries that resonance that had a reaction to some other situation, person, or thing. So as you're in the world and you have an emotional reaction that just knocks you off kilter, slip into this space, this space of you, the space of allowing, the space of your light, of being with your light. And as you step into that space, again, you don't need to bring up, you know, something like, oh, I need to release these specific things. When you just step into your light in that circumstance, take a breath, release it, invite it into you. It's basically simply bringing your divine awareness to these things. And that's one way you can see shining your light as well as you are bringing divine awareness. And that's all it takes. Is just your divine awareness. Okay. So again, you know this space. And if you are having a hard time ever out in the world of connecting, you can just simply think of the space. The space where it's beyond time, space dimensions. It is a space that you carry in your heart, actually. And you can access that space through the heart. So to come into this space, simply take the three breaths to go into the heart space. Put your awareness on this space where you embody you. And that you are present and standing in your light. And then just be. And that's if you wish to use this space for assistance. But really, you don't need it. Again, you know this space of embodiment of you. And you can come back here with a single breath. So anytime that you're out in the world and you step into worry, struggle, strife. Remember, you have a choice. It's okay to still continue to suffer in those situations, to have the experience of the lack, of the strife, of the struggle. You can, and it is okay to still be there. And perhaps it is still serving you. But if you choose in those moments that those things come up, take a breath, go into the heart, allow those things to be in existence. Have your gratitude for them, your forgiveness for them, your compassion for them. And then they shift in your divine awareness, in your light. So you don't have to struggle and strive. You can make a clear conscious choice to step into your light with these things, to allow your light to come into these things. And that is the real magic is that you have choice in every minute 
And when you stop and allow in your light, you are allowing in the highest potentials in creation. Carrying your light, your light has the highest potentials right there. And that is the point of this exercise, this experience, is to allow your light to bring you those highest potentials in creation and allow it to just bring those to you for you to experience. You are the grand experiencer. Again, use your imagination and imagine that you are in joy. Imagine that all of your experiences are in joy. That brings your light into them and that shifts the perspectives. And then that shifts the experience, the creation. All right, much love to all of you. Thank you for being here today and supporting this space. And, um, yeah, we'll just continue on, keep playing. I'm sure we're going to do some more Wisdom Circle Wednesdays. But, um, yeah, please do take the time every day to just be in that space of allowing in your light. And it changes everything really truly does all right everybody take care enjoy happy wednesday and we will see you next time